Welcome back guys. A really easy way to add style and functionality to your paracord survival bracelets is to add microcord lacing. This thin cord is rated to hold 90 pounds, which means it's great for lashing your survival knife to a spear or for tying gear to your backpack. If you're new to lacing techniques, this is a good place to start. All you need to begin is a cobra weave bracelet, microcord, and a type 1 fit. If you don't know how to make a cobra bracelet, we provided a link in the description to show you how to do that. This is a pretty straightforward project, so a great beginner project, and it really won't take that much time. The way to figure out how much paracord you need to make a cobra bracelet is pretty easy. It's one foot of paracord for one inch of bracelet. For this lacing technique, you'll need about half that much microcord. So for every inch of your bracelet, you'll need about six inches of microcord. I've got here about an eight inch bracelet, so I'm gonna measure out four feet of microcord. And I'll just take a little extra to make sure I have enough. Start by inserting one end of your microcord into your fid. In the other end, tie a knot, just a simple overhand knot near the end. Then on the back side of your bracelet, we'll be starting on the side of the bracelet that does not have the melted ends. Flip it over to the back, and in one of your first bumps on the side, pull your microcord all the way through. We'll be melting the end later, but we, that knot will be enough for now. Then we're just going to continue on through the next bump over, so that now we're on the top side, and that's where we'll start. This is a diagonal weave, so we're going to count over one, two bumps on the opposite side and go up through there. Then we're going to go back one and down through again. And then the same thing we did before, count over two down through this way. Back one. Over two on the other side. It's a pretty simple pattern. I'm sure you guys already have it down. You're just gonna continue that all the way across the bracelet and I'll catch you at the other side. So we're about halfway, a little over now. Um, you see this nice crisscross pattern developing. Just continuing on. One of the reasons it's beneficial to carry some microcord with you is that sometimes you need a smaller diameter cord than, than 550. Let's say you're tying a small thing together or doing some clothing repair. Um, 95 is going to work a lot better for that than, than 550 would. You can always pull the, the inner strands out of 550, but sometimes it's just nice to have another, another option of cord along with you. So this is a nice bracelet just to wear with you camping or just to even keep in the bottom of your bag. So now I'm down at the, the end of the bracelet. Um, to finish it off, I'm just going to stick it through the last, the last loop there. And then on the bottom side, I'm just going to tuck it under a couple of the center strands. If you want to tie a knot there, you can. I'm just going to cut it and melt the end right where it's at. And usually that's enough to keep it in place. So, gave a little bead there so it won't pull through. And I can do that same with the other side. If you want to, you can kind of push it against so it won't rub against your hand or your wrist when it's on. All right, so there's our completed laced bracelet. Um, like I said, it's a pretty easy technique for lacing. Um, there's a lot more elaborate ways to do it. Um, a lot of them look pretty cool, but this is a good place to, to start when figuring out that technique. If you need instructions how to make the base Cobra bracelet, check out the description below, where you'll also find supplies used in the making of this bracelet. If you like this tutorial and want more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.